Fishing Dorset Live. Welcome back to my channel. Fishing locally, it's Sunday morning. Oh, I hope that yeah, it's got a chuck down, but yeah. One of my subscribers just about leaving, he's been out since um, five o'clock. The forecast is grim. The clouds behind me are really, really black. I'm just hoping I can get a hour session and lose my bait up from Friday night. I've literally put the first bit and had a bite straight away. I'm just waiting now. All I've got is just ragworm left over. It's literally blown out as well. It's, it's not the best, but it'll catch bream. That's what I'm targeting. Beautiful morning, it's really hot still. I'll just quickly run you for my gear. And my setup, it's so simple, it just can't go wrong, guys. It's about the easiest setup you'll ever come across. I'm using my spinning rod today because it's one of my smallest rods I can use. And it's good fun when you get good fish on like bream. It's on braid. I don't normally use braid from the shorelines, but obviously it's my spinning rod and it's the only time I do use braid. Let's get going guys, I'll bring you back and I'll show you my simple setup. Let's get some fish. My, my setup this morning, it's my spinning rod, it's a bit weird but it's a Hypron Pike by Dam, 30 to 70 green casting. I'm using a pen, fierce, there's no reverse on this, it's just a straight cast. I absolutely love it for spinning. This is a really, really good reel. Right, my setup, guys. This is so simple. Why complicate things? I've got a two-ounce ball head onto braid, down to a swivel, down to a nylon, down to a 2.0. That's all I use, guys. Nothing complicated for breaming. Right, ragworm. It's literally blown out. But it's good enough for fishing this morning. This is why I'm fishing this morning, right next to sun sinkers. But it's a beautiful morning, guys. Absolutely gorgeous and roasting hot. But behind me, it's getting black. Right, let's get this one out. Let's get going. And hopefully we can pull a bream out, which would be nice. There we go, straight on ragworm. Bit lively, but a lovely little bass this morning. That's the first one out, second cast just on ragworm. I'll run you from my setup in a minute, guys. Let's just get them off. We're popping back. There we go, that's a good start. We've got a big storm coming in. Literally black clouds behind me, so I don't know how long I'm gonna get this morning. Let's get baited up, let's get back out. Nothing complicated, don't overcast it. Just a gentle fleck out, let it sink. Tie it down, that's it guys. There's no need for casting down this way. Let's see how long before that starts biting. And we'll see how long it starts before that rain comes in. Well, currently sat in my van. That rain didn't hold off for long. Got a shower. It's 22 degrees and it's showering. I'm absolutely sweating. I've only got that one rod out. Hopefully it's just like quick showers. I'm still fishing, I'll still carry on. I'll probably get a bit wet, but I can change my clothes when I get home, so it's no biggie, obviously. I've brought no waterproofs with me because it's absolutely boiling hot <laughs> and I'll probably get wetter on the inside than the outside. I've had a few little taps and obviously I've had that little bass on the second cast, which was quite nice. But 
just waiting for that elusive bream. Obviously, it's coming to the end of the season for bream. But hopefully, we can pull one out for the video. It's not a blank. So, it won't be a blank video. But I'll keep going. And hopefully, we can get a gilt out or a black bream or a nice bass or just something. But like I say, you don't have to use complicated setups for harbour fishing. I literally sat on the on the dock side. I used to fish here when I was a kid. And obviously on Paul Bridge, but you're not allowed to now. Obviously, it got too busy. But yeah, Paul's a great place. Very lucky to move and live here. And the fishing's not too bad at all. It's, it's done me okay fishing around Paul over the years. Right. Let's hopefully we can get a bit of footage, guys, with a decent fish. Just waiting for that big bite for the bream. But don't forget, like and subscribe, guys. It's totally free. Leave any comments. I've also had a lot of questions about my tripod. I've had this tripod for over 30 years. It's gold and purple. If anybody actually knows what make it is, leave a comment, guys. It'd be nice to know. Um, I can't remember where I bought it from I honestly can't but I've got a rough feeling it might be at Ian Golds I'm not 100% sure but if you know guys leave a comment it all helps there's an absolute massive mullet just coming here I don't know where we're going to see it guys it just disappeared absolutely massive mullet just cruising around Water clarity is absolutely really clear. Well, it's not too bad. It's not as clear as it could be, but it is quite clear if you get me. I'll see if I can get the footage, guys, if he comes back. Obviously, the shadowing's a bit harder. But yeah, absolutely beautiful mullet just cruising around there. Well, we're sat here waiting for the shower to stop. I'll just go into a little bit of um, information about my fishing background, guys. When I was young, I used to do a lot of trout fishing, obviously I'm from the Cotswolds. Growing up, you'd go out trout fishing with my friends in their local little streams um, around Gloucestershire. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely brilliant childhood catching trout. All we had back then, guys, just bread. That's all we used to use, just flat a bit of bread. Or use like the white bit of bread ball it up. But yeah. Happy childhood uh, trout fishing, absolutely loved it, really enjoyed it. Um, then I moved down to Dorset, obviously where I moved to, we had two big, well, one big lake, one smaller lake, uh, and then I spent the rest of like my adult childhood cart fishing. Then I got introduced into sea fishing. Look where I am now, guys. I absolutely love sea fishing. I'm not saying I won't go back to any other type of fishing. I do appreciate other other fishing. I know I call it puddle chucking. But I've been there. I've done it. And I've really enjoyed it. I like all aspects of fishing. But now, sea fishing. I love it. I'll never come away from it. Living in Dorset. I've got prime locations for fishing. Now we've got the boat. I've got even bigger choices. Obviously, it's not our first boat. We've had boats before. But it just gives us an opportunity now for my YouTube channel to get sea fishing around Paul as well as doing the shore fishing. We should have the boat out in the next few weeks. Obviously, my son's been on holiday. We've been busy. We've just not had time to get the boat out. I've done a charter trip, which is up on my channel, just showing Malcolm's boat and a little bit of fishing as well. And the other thing, guys, as you all know, I've had my teeth done, and I do suck a lot of sweets. Um, I struggle until I get used to them talking. The only way I can do it is to like suck on a sweet. It helps me talk better. Um, it makes me gag a little bit, to be honest. But as soon as I get some, like a sweet in my mouth, I can sit there sucking on that. It's all good, guys. So apologies if I'm talking with a sweet in my mouth, but that's the way I've got to do it, guys, until I get used to them. But back to my good-looking self. 
Sounds like the rain's stopping as well. But I think we've got showers all morning, but I'll carry on fishing. I'm only here for a couple of hours on. I'll give it a good sesh. Just to use that bait up, I'm not going to waste it. Obviously, bait's not cheap these days. Right, let's get back in a bit of fishing. There's a little look into my background of um, my life on fishing. Bit of knowledge. Here we go, guys, fish on. Oh, beautiful wrasse. Absolutely beautiful wrasse there, guys. Beautiful bite. Look at that. That's perfect condition. Like I say, that's just straight on ragworm, guys. That's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful grass. Look at the colours. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get them off, guys. Let's get this one back. There we go. Absolute beautiful wrasse there. Let's get him back. Hopefully we get a nice one. That's happy days. That's not too bad. It's a bass and a wrasse this morning. We'll keep going. Let's see what happens. I could have got it on camera, guys, but like always, you put the camera on the bike stop. Let's put it back on the tripod. Yeah, he's not there, he's not there at all. But the rain stopped. It's probably nicked all my bait. Right, let's check it. I, I expect they strip. Oh, there we are. Right. Still a lot of salad about it at the moment. It's not too bad though with a little weight on. Right, let's get baited up again, guys. Let's see if we can actually catch a bite on camera. All right, the brain are about fishing away. One of my subscribers turned up down. Straight into a nice little gilt there. Absolutely beautiful fish. Dan's gonna get a quick picture for himself. He's gonna get that back. Let's hope we can pull one out, guys. That's my target today. Whether it's a big one or a small one. I'll give this back to Dan. Well done to Dan. Let's try and get one ourselves. All's gone quiet so far. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make my trace just that little bit longer. I'll show you the process if you can actually see it. What I'll do is to the swivel. It's been shown loads of times on YouTube, guys. Absolutely loads of times. But what I'll do, let's just show you. So, what I do, Put the line through and I wrap it round four or five times like that. Then what I'll do, I go back through the bottom and then I go back through again like so and then wet it. Pull. Really tight knot. Trim the tail off. But what I've done, I've put a, a much longer tail on there. Obviously the tie's still running in. Same process again. Size 2 0 hook. Wrap it around. Four to five times. I go back through and then back through again, wet it, gently pull, cut the tail off. An absolutely really nice tight clean knot. I've never had one come off yet. We're still fishing. I'm staying out a lot longer than what I planned to. The rain stopped. 
We're just waiting for that tide now to, to run back out and hopefully I can get my target of a bream, whether it's a black bream or a gilt or a nice big rasp. But yeah, target of the bait is that bream. But hopefully that shows on video, guys. I'll get this baited up and we'll get straight back out. Finally getting back into some bites, guys. Feels more like a rasp, rasp bite. No, we missed that one. Maybe back, I'll put a real smelly dead rag on there. Instant straight bites. Beautiful old sailing ship coming out now. Look at that, really nice old sailing ship there. Lovely bite, and we come back with a shell. Let's get some fresh bait on there, guys. But let's try and get this elusive bream. But there's no one home. He's empty. <laughs> Getting a few little knocks now. The tide's literally top of the tide, ready for the turn. Getting very gentle knocks. It's either a ras or small bream at the moment. Still waiting for them big ones. Like I said, eight black bream from here Friday uh, I didn't record it which I should have done but it's funny every time you put a camera on the bike stops it's like the fish goes shy but I say I've, I've been out more than a couple of hours now it's, it's not been the best session but I've not blanked I've had a nice couple of fish out I'm still waiting for that bream. Don't care what size it is, just any bream. Feels like the rain's just starting to spit again. So we can have a big shower coming back over. I'll keep going though. What a size of that. That's my foot. That is an absolute beast. Look how red those claws are. That is an absolute beauty of a spider crab. I've never had one from Paul Harbour this big, guys. He That's... is very far from home this time of year. Yeah. I don't know if it's unusual to catch them this time of year inside the harbour. Yeah, but that, she's beautiful. Look at that. Really red. Real big juicy claws. He's got my hook. Just in the corner of his claw there. I'll get the old forcep and I'll pull that out. And we'll get that back in the water, guys. And I start calling it a day. The rain's not easing up now, it's showering down. I felt that nice little cushy morning, it's been nice and warm. Had a cut of fish out, had loads of bites. I still got the rod out, but I'm going to do an outro now, it just just in case I forget. But massive thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment if you enjoy. Felt a cut of fish out this morning, nothing massive. But it's just using a ragworm. I have from Friday night, it just saves wasting it. Um, I normally give it to friends, but everybody's obviously got other plans. But I've used it myself Sunday morning. So don't forget, guys, hit a like. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. It costs absolutely nothing. And many thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.